Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Just give me a minute here to get some links fired out and then we'll have a little catch up, shall we? Okay. Hey Honorata, Lands and Jane. Welcome guys. How are we all? How is uh, everyone's Sunday? Got my wine and blanket and I'm ready. Oh, don't mention wine today. <laughs> no, don't mention wine today, Honorata. It's um, it's a sensitive subject. <laughs> we don't like wine at the minute. Hey, Casino, DM, Steve, Josh, Minat. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. It won't be as live for as long tonight um, because I am hungover. And I don't have the effort <laughs> to put in a full two hours in front of the city skylines on a Sunday evening. But yeah, I hope everyone's well. Karina, Bad, Schlauer, welcome guys. Exy, how is everyone? How is everyone? Everyone had a good week? Looking forward to your Mondays. I hope so. I certainly hope so. But you all enjoyed the Imperator collaboration as well. I think we managed to keep that one under wraps. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, really exciting. Super, super fangirl moment having Imperator build something in Palavin, right? <laughs> I think it was. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look at what we're going to do here today. So I did want to start working on the campus because I know we've got some higher education demand. So I think we're going to start putting the campus down here by the water. Got some nice layers of height going on in the campus as well. We can work something with that today. And then also start introducing some high density residential up along the water here I think as well. I think that'd be good. Got some nice high rises up against the river. So here we go. Rough night if you're still hungover at 7. It wasn't even that bad, mine heart, you know. I think I'm just getting old. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I can't handle that much anymore. It's uh, it's not good. Hey, Buttercup. Welcome to the stream, dude. And, okay, so we want to start preparing the road infrastructure um, to flow out because currently there's only one entrance into this part of town via this road here off the roundabout. So I think we're going to bring an arterial through here and see what we can do. So... Start clearing out some of the road network, shall we? And a little bit of this detailing that we've come through and done. Hey Liz, welcome to the stream. And everyone else as well. 47 people right off the bat, welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. And we'll, we'll probably rip all this industry out eventually and expand the forestry down here. Because I hate the pollutive industry, it was awful. But I guess we'll see, right? We're going to see what happens today. Okay. <laughs> hey Mags, welcome to the stream mate. I'll actually remember to say hello to you this time. Okay, so I'm smoothing out this little... It's actually terraform first of all, because we're going to want to come through and bring this arterial through as well. Could even do a little bridge here actually, I guess we'll see. Trip out this tram stuff now as well, because the trams will continue to flow down this area. Okay, and then if we drop that in as like a baseline, right? I guess we'll kind of see what happens. Start preparing some initial road infrastructure to come through. Yeah, Jane has pushed the Discord, guys, if you're not in the Discord. It's a wonderful little place to come and hang out. Nice little community going on. I wouldn't mind having this as a bridge, but... I don't know if it's the right vibe for it. it might look too industrial if you've got that big concrete thing coming down. No, I think we're just going to bring it down on the hill. Let's continue to soften out the area. Hey Osman, welcome to the stream dude. How are you? How are you? Okay. Buttercup is pushing that light target. <laughs> Appreciate that dude. Okay, let's have a little look. Let's first of all have a look at how the canvas is going to sit here. Let's start pushing away a little bit of this land, okay? 
bring it up to here as well, give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. Then we can always terraform again afterwards. Okay, so something like that. Could you go over how budgeting works, how to plan and build within your budget and then not spend 700,000 building highways and then not have a sudden why you broke? Oh, is this what Nicole's been doing? I've seen the stream chats. <laughs> I'm assuming something's gone down. Um, no, I think if you can't understand that initially, then you shouldn't be playing the game. <laughs> I think that's how it should work, so you know. <laughs> Okay, so let's understand how the waterfront is going to fit in here. Start pushing out a little more space to come in with a straight key and we'll build ourselves a little bit of a, a platform to get started here with the university. Okay, let's come into our key. Then we'll come onto the road guideline as well. Yes, please. Nice and easy. <laughs> Thank you, City Skylines. Thank you for behaving yourself. It's always appreciated. Of course, it's going to flood. We'll wait for the water to calm down a little bit. I love your gameplay. You're a beast of City Skylines. Thank you so much, Osman. I appreciate that. Very nice of you to say. Okay. So let's continue to terraform here and allow ourselves some more room for the the main campus building to sit up against, right? Do enjoy building a campus for those that have been around on the channel for a little while. You know that campus is one of my favourite DLCs. Okay. So I think we'll come out by 20. Let's come into our trade school. Need to create the campus area first of all. Let's draw it in here for right now. Would help if I actually do the campus area. And there we go. Okay, so we can centralize this quite nicely. I think I'm fairly happy with that. Are you able to tease us anymore about when the Imperator Stadium will be? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, um, that was a fairly obvious little tease, that wasn't it, with the district. <laughs> but it really was. Um, next week. Next week it'll be. But uh, yeah, apart from that, it's a surprise, right? Okay, so what do we get? We got dormitories, study hall, groundskeeping, and the book club to start off with. Okay, let's go ahead and get this university up to its required kind of entertainment level, and then we'll go ahead and work on some high density stuff over by the river. And we'll kind of see what we can work on today. So, the trade school, or the, the study hall, is a really kind of weird looking asset right because this is the the more important side of it at least in my opinion right you know you've got these little stairways but this is actually the front of the asset so we'll have to orientate this correctly oh nicole with a 149 canadian dollar super sticker and it's kami's <laughs> thank you so much for the super sticker nicole appreciate it and a shout out to kami's everyone a shout out to kami's Okay, so let's bring a pathway through here first, so we can orientate the study hall the way that we want it. And um, just come off the road guideline. There we go. And then we'll flip our orientation here. Hey Jeff, welcome to the stream, dude. Okay. Very nice main arterial road building. You can integrate this into the downtown quite nicely as well. Do we want 
to mirror them either side, I wonder. Let's have a look what that would look like. They came in from there as well. Look at the love and the welcome for everyone in chat, guys. What a wonderful community you all are. A little bit of symmetrical university spice against the waterfront here. Okay. Let's begin to expand the internal path network. And then we can start to place in some dormitories as well, maybe. Then that'd be quite cute. Nice. Can we run a plaza in here? None of them centralise. <laughs> no. Nightmare. We'll wait until we unlock one of the university plazas then. I guess we could do a part of my plaza in here as well initially. I think that'll be okay. We'll upgrade kind of the front of the campus once we unlock some more stuff for it. Make it a little more interesting. Maybe let's repeat that park plaza on this end as well. I think all oh, one of the things that making these campus areas is look good. Lots of kind of grand repeated infrastructure. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Um, what are the actual requirements to getting this level up? So we want academic works, students and campus attractiveness. Okay, so we'll get the campus attractiveness up and then everything else will just come of its own accord. So let's now start planning in some dormitory stuff. So I think we'll kind of make like a little dormitory square. I guess we'll see, right? Let's see what kind of comes of this idea. Do want to make sure we bring this road down though, first of all. Connect out of here. I'm very wary of the landscape here. It's not at all smooth, but we'll see what we can do, right? We'll decorate it. <laughs> we'll, we'll decorate it. We will decorate it. Okay. Let's come on with our road guideline. How is that incline? It's quite steep, but let's see what we can do to just help it along a little bit. Maybe let's mooch through with a little bit of farm fence. I'll see what fencing have we used down by the waterfront over here. It's all park fence, isn't it? I think we'll go with farm though for the road. We'll see what we can do with it. Hey Maria, welcome to the stream. How are you? Okay. Of course, lots of opportunity for green belt through here as well. Um, let's terraform a little more so we can get some zoning in here as well. Too much soil. Oh, do we not have a soil dump here? Oh, we do now. Let's just lob it there. That'll be fine. Okay, let's push this back a little bit more. Um, let's come through with some lighter commercial. Do we want to continue on the arterial there? We do have this little road here. Let's come to real length and angle. Do we want to connect in? We probably can't here, can we? It's going to be too short. Yeah, that's fine though. We don't have to. I think what we'll do is just bring it around in a little box and end it there. It's going to give us some different layers of depth and some spice as well, of course. So we can get some zoning in. And we'll probably make this nightlife. Make sure we expand that nightlife district and then we'll sort out the tram stop as well. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm using a raise district, <laughs> that's why you can tell my brain is not working today. <laughs> so why is this district not expanding? Because you're using the delete district to like. You should probably run a bike path alongside the road. Hmm. Yeah, we could make this bike path actually. Get some students cycling this area. Um, let's also work on the tram line 
because this will need to flow down here as well. And uh, there should be some nice opportunities to actually get involved with some waterfront tram stop action in front of the university here. So let's kind of join our straight pieces here as a initial placeholder if you like. Let's take away a touch more. Come off the road guideline. Let's go for that. Fantastic, okay. So not entirely sure what's going to lie down the other end yet, so again we'll just bring the tram line to a close at this point. And then we'll have a stop here. And then one there. Okay. Love a bit of waterfront tram action. I think we all do, don't we, DJ? I think we all do. I've got to start doing these water pipes properly. <laughs> because it's not gonna it's gonna get very ugly like Palavan has. Okay, I'm actually wondering if we want to bring a road and introduce some of the tourism assets onto this waterfront as well. Let's have a play with that idea, shall we? Um let's run for so there's the marina, beach volleyball court in here too. Jet ski rental maybe? I think maybe the marina, maybe a couple of marinas. Even though it's got that slight cliff diving vibes with the height of the key, but I think we can live with it. Pro Panther with a five US dollar super chat. Thank you for entertaining the world on the beautiful Sunday. Thank you so much for tuning in, Pro. I appreciate your kind words on the super chat, buddy. I hope all is well. In Utah, I think. I think you're from Utah, right, bro? I'm sure you are. What well, chose the super chat, dude? Appreciate that. Okay. Let's start to bring some little path designs through here as well, and then we'll upgrade into some fancier pathways. Start to make a little more fuss out of this tram stop. And Java Strat, or Java Stat. With a 10 Canadian dollar super chat. And he's not said anything. Thank you so much for the super chat, Java. I appreciate that, mate. I hope you're well. I think we're going to go with some repeated zoo fence and tree designs to help fill out these areas. Maybe a couple of park assets in here as well. Let's actually upgrade the pathways first because they'll probably shatter these zonings. Okay, something like that. And we'll see how this affects the front of the campus as well. Let's make sure that we're remaining somewhat central. The marinas are not central at all. Let's see if we can relocate these ever so slightly. Maybe one up to there. Just go ahead and dive into the speedboats, yeah. <laughs> it's annoying as hell, isn't it? It's annoying as hell. I guess you could use a ladder, right? <laughs> I guess you could use a ladder. And John McGirrick, am I pronouncing that right? With a um, 149 US dollar super sticker. And it's Palabin Pines. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that support, mate. Maybe a little cafe. Or the best room even. Mm, I guess this... That path isn't really necessary. Maybe let's have a look at some other assets we can use in here. Okay, yeah, I think we'll run with the cafe and then we'll expand kind of a beer garden around it using some of the assets. Some nice detail opportunities here. Casino with a five US dollar super chat. <laughs> Insert dad joke here. Liz need Liz needs you to reply to her DM. I followed some joke about Nikini saying it's tea time. Okay, yeah, I do need to reply to Liz's DM. Liz, I am so sorry. I will get back to you, I promise. Um, the merch queen is waiting. <laughs> I am not replying. 
I'm just terrible, Liz. I will get back to you, honestly. One day. <laughs> One day I will. Okay, let's maybe start bringing through some park tiles here. And cheers for the super chat as well, Casino. I don't think I said thank you for that. Appreciate the support, buddy. And for actually paying me to reply to my DMs. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Let's come into our fences again. Of course we said we were going to build a campus today and... What? 20 minutes into the stream we're micro-detailing. Welcome to the stream, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. So I think we use... Nature Reserve Fence. Mm, maybe not, actually. Maybe not Nature Reserve. Maybe Farm. I'm kind of... I'm going off the Nature Reserve Fence ever so slowly, I think. It's almost like... It's the fence equivalent of a zoo path. I'm just kind of edging away from it as time goes on. I'm just not a fan anymore. I'm not sure why. Okay, let's introduce some small tables. Nothing too serious. Maybe let's bring the fence uh, along this side as well. Let's come into our angle. Okay. Let's see how we can decorate a little chum stop design here. Some repeated bush spice up alongside as well, maybe. Um, let's pick a tree for this kind of central. How about a couple of palms? We never really use the palms. Maybe one in there. They're kind of a little small though. I wish we kind of had some like LA looking palms. You know, those like really super tall skinny ones. I mean I know they're on the workshop but... Unmodded problems, right? Okay, it's not looking too bad is it? Not looking too bad. Let's start to complement it with some commercial as well. But I think maybe green cities as we come down this side of the waterfront so we transition away from that nightlife stuff. Let's make a really cute green cities area here. We'll kind of see what vibes we can get going. So let's fill all these out. We'll see what assets we get generating in. Pop the game on 3 speed. And we'll just see what, what happens. Just notice the vid description. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's best that we're just honest, isn't it? I think the best about just be honest with the situation. Okay, let's come back to our dormitories. Is that going up there? It kind of looks like it is, but that's fine, I think, for right now. Okay. So I want some kind of little dormitory square here. Let's start drawing them in. And then we'll have it facing into this side. Okay. Let's terraform. Yeah, that's, this is rising up slightly. Put away a bunch more of this soil, give ourselves a little more breathing room. I feel like I've said breathing room a lot already today. Got 110 people here, thank you so much for showing up for the Sunday stream everyone. And what are the distances here? 140. Okay. Just make sure that we repeat that as well. Bring that on that as a border so we know that we're as central as possible. Very nice. And then we'll do the same with this one as well. Okay, so all the dormitory is just facing into a little a little centralized area. Can we squeeze any of the other ones in? Would the groundskeeping work well here as well? Hmm. Have a look. Karina with a £10 super chat. Thank you for doing a live stream even though you're feeling rubbish. No worries, Karina. Thank you for watching a live stream even when I'm feeling rubbish. Appreciate the support. <laughs> Appreciate the support. Let's have a look how this green city stuff is coming and also feed some water into our marinas as well. 
How's the green cities stuff coming along? Yeah, this is very nice. This is what we're after, right? These little kind of market stalls. Up against the waterfront here. Trams going behind. Hmm. Hey, Frank. Welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you? How are you, mate? Okay. Um, let's have a look at some pathways through here, too. Uh... Of real length, and then we'll just start to okay. Let's draw the base frame of vanilla road paths first. And then we'll see about upgrading into something a little fancier. Shouldn't be too close here, right? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's stick with the vanilla path then. Something we very rarely use. DJ with a 10 US dollar super sticker. And it's the pair saying thank you. Thank you, DJ. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate that. Not too many messages in the super chats tonight. You guys are all just saying thank you. <laughs> appreciate our support, guys. Thank you. Sorry you're not feeling my leg. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's okay. It's all self-inflicted. It's a hangover. <laughs> I'm not like suffering with a virus or anything. Yeah, I'm just hungover. But thank you, there. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Let's hope it still is entertaining. Okay, I came out of retirement after last donations. I went bankrupt. <laughs> I'm not surprised, Frank. I'm not surprised, mate. Those are insane. No, but yeah, I'm not doing too bad, mate. Slightly hungover today, but. It's not the end of the world, right? It's all self-inflicted. Mm, I'm using nature reserve fence again. Not in this pattern though, right? Oh, no, I deleted the key. No. Just delete the marinas. There we go, we're good. I was panicking. <laughs> I was like, no, come on. <laughs> Please just drop back in. There we go. Ash D with a five pound super chat. Hey, <laughs> hey everybody, it's a super chat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, what did I miss? Thanks so much for the support, Ashley. Appreciate the support. <laughs> Even though you're making me say that on live stream. Uh, <laughs> I'm there, Lanzarek with a five euro super chat. Roy Keane says hangovers are nonsense. <laughs> oh. For those out in the Discord and have been missing out on the Roy Keane banter, it's been very, very much a welcome change of pace, um, giving Spice Cat grief about his team. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Ash. <laughs> Thank you for announcing yourself with that super chat. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, let's continue with the path network through here. And then we can form. This is kind of what we did over by the little green city's waterfront on the other side of town. I'm going to form some green belts to mold around the path network here. And we'll see what kind of difference this makes to a little bit of dead space. Did I say thank you to Lance for the super chat? If I didn't, Lance, thank you, mate. Appreciate that. I always forget if I do. I'm like, did I say thank you? Gives me anxiety. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, did I say thanks for that? Holy crap, Josh T90 with a 50 US dollar super sticker. And it's a Samurai Fox saying you're amazing. Thank you so much, Josh. It's very generous of you, mate. Thank you so much for that. My little um my little fellow smoker American friend. What a wonderful little member of the community you've become, Josh. Thank you so much for that super chat, mate. It's very, very generous. Okay, this is all right, I think. I think it's all right. Mm, yeah, let's not bring the zone down here. Let's repeat that green belt design with the uh, nature reserve fences hugging the side of the road and then the path network. Okay. Oh, this is nature reserve fence. No, this is zoo fence. Cool. We want nature reserve. 
You're welcome, keep it up, buddy. Mate, you're too kind, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're a, a blue boy now as well, right? Our new server mentors have been implemented this week. Shout out to Casino, Josh, and 2C. So they're wonderful little helpful comments that they drop in there in the Discord every day. Helping people out. You guys are wonderful little mem members of the community. Okay. Let's continue this one down here. And then we'll also start to introduce some little pathways to cut through this side of the green belt too. Got 127 people here. Welcome to the stream, everyone. I hope you're all okay. You guys are actually making me feel better, you know. Just making the hangover go away. I tried to sleep, made it worse. It was not good. <laughs> the day's just been a write-off. It's not been fun. I think I'm just getting too old now, you know. You know how everyone says, like, the older you get, the worse hangovers become. I always just kind of, like, brush that off as nonsense, but... Or as nonsense. <laughs> as nonsense, as right, Roy Keane would say. Um, but I'm kind of sympathising with it a little bit today. Kind of, um, we'll place these ones in manually. Okay. How do we feel about this, boys and girls, as a potential... Make sure we bring this path down parallel with the uh, tram line, actually. I think just as a little way to um, help border up some some of the tram stuff with a little bit of nature reserve fencing. I quite like that actually. Nice. People using the pathways here now as well. It's always nice to see, isn't it? You could get fancier here with um, maybe a more fancier tree. And uh, Nicole with a 149 Canadian dollar super sticker. It's a hot dog. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nicole. Appreciate the support. Thank you for the hot dog shout out alongside the Kami shout out. Be too close to the key here. Yeah, I think we are. I think we're going to overdo it if we start doing it over there as well, aren't we? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you guys will abandon. That's fine. We will eventually tear all this out for forestry anyway, so we don't really care about it for right now. Uh, let's go satisfy a little bit of this residential demand because we do need to get... This is going to be turning into a Palavan type city soon where we just have no population. And uh, we can't do that. We need to actually expand this city. <laughs> Otherwise it will just become another slow burner. Okay, start leveling out our terrain here. Oh, we've got some service assets to clear away here as well with the water stuff. Do we have the water, inland water treatment stuff have unlocked yet? Yes, we do. Okay, we'll relocate that eventually then. Let's go ahead and terraform out some stuff here. See you later, Harry. Thanks for stopping by, mate. Appreciate your support. Okay, just delete a whole bunch of this little overgrowth here as well. I'm going to take all of it away. It's kind of annoying the forest brush doesn't get rid of this stuff, but... Welcome to Vanilla Problems, everyone. Okay. And let's start bringing some roads down to feed this new high-density area in. So I think we'll take it Green City's high res while we're up against the water. Or do we want to maybe bring some of those vibes over down there? Yeah, I think we will. I think we will bring some of those vibes over. Over towards the waterfront. Okay, let's just start drawing out an initial road network frame here. And then we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and paint ourselves out of districts, of course. There's Darwin's waterfront. We've got Karina Gardens here as well. I guess we could just expand Karina Gardens out say because this has already got the self-sufficient thing on it. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Want to get lots of green belt introduced into this high-density res as well. 
I think maybe if we're going to go to green cities, let's introduce some internal dirt roads. Canals? Um, yeah, we could use canals here. Maybe not the right shape for it though, it's only a fairly small area. Oh, Ross Hicks with a £1.99 super sticker and it's a big foam thumb. Thank you so much Ross, or Dingoes, appreciate that support mate. Thank you so much. And Steve L, oh, straight off the back, god you guys are throwing them out tonight. <laughs> Steve O with a £10 super chat. Good work as always, Egg. Treat yourself to tea and hobnobs to recover the Marines of the, bis of the Biscuit world. I'm probably chosen Biscuit of Nickelback. <laughs> probably. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it probably is, Steve. Thanks for the, uh, the super chat, mate. Appreciate it. And for Ross as well for the super sticker. You guys are super generous. Okay, so we're going to try out some new designs here today, okay? Let's start introducing some green cities high res. Lots of different shapes and sizes into these little dirt road networks. And we'll come through at several points as well and bring in some road against road action. I think that's something that we all appreciate, isn't it? Okay. We've got three by three. We'll of course need some water pipes over here as well, which we do have mostly already. Egg can make a cute ap apartment complex. It's kind of what we're doing, Liz. I'm going to try out a little green city's apartment complex with some dirt roads today. I'm not entirely sure how the dirt roads are going to fit in, but... This is how we test, right? It's all about this trial and error. Uh, let's also bring in some further connections into the road network on this side. And then we'll take away these zonings. And we guess we can almost use this as an opportunity to like mark it as an entrance into a little green cities development. Okay. You gotta do a fence, it needs a pool. Hmm. Yeah. Community pool would be a good shout here. Do we have it unlocked? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's see how we feel about this. Gated community. Yeah, I do want to do um, a gated community modular build. Um, it's on the list. It has been for months, but we'll see. Maybe let's upgrade these into a a road that's a touch fancier on this kind of initial rectangle frame. Okay. Something like that. I'm off some food back soon. No worries, Ash. Take care. Be careful. <laughs> Enjoy the food. Okay, some smaller internal. Turn path networks. Let's get some more zoning coming in here as well. Do we have schools nearby? Mm, no. Don't think so anyway. Mm, yeah, they're not too far away. We'll probably build a little dedicated school park for this. We did spend all of the last live stream in this city working on a school part design didn't we maybe not something as intense as that if you guys are enjoying the stream today a like below is always appreciated lord king has just reminded me help support the channel i wonder if we have any new people from imperator's channel if we do welcome Hey Dino, welcome. This is somehow making me feel hungover. I'm sorry to hear that, Michael. <laughs> that wasn't my that wasn't my intention. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want you to feel the way I'm doing right now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's developing, I think. It's threatening to develop. Have a look at some 
Different road shapes and ideas here. Nice big 4 by 4 in there as well. David B with a £5 super chat. How do you get a so good at landscaping? My attempts are always so abysmal. Um, I think it's just practice makes perfect, mate. Um, if you haven't seen the terraforming tutorial on the um, on the channel, it's, ju it's just getting used to how each of the tools behaves and what the left and right click function of each tool actually does. you just got to spend time with it, mate. That's all you've got to do. It does, it does get easier and kind of learn how each one of them complements the other. Like when you would use soften compared to level and slope terrain compared to kind of rise and lower or raise. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow, you got some serious skills making people feel all over. I know. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the desired effect. But, um, as long as we're having a nice time. I think that's what's important, right? Okay, let's continue some of these little nature reserve pathways here. And then we'll start to introduce maybe some bigger trees. I'm quite keen on these ones with the green city stuff. A real nice fresh pop of green in and amongst all this kind of action, right? Okay. Oh, did I, did I, um, did I thank David for the super chat? Thank you, David, if I didn't. I have a terrible time remembering that. <laughs> I feel like I, I answer it and then never say thanks. Okay, let's bring out another bulk of frame here. And then also over to this side as well. Okay, let's help these guys level up a little bit more as well. So we've got some park assets that we can drop in. Maybe a couple of these actually. I quite like these back to back. Um, if we drop it in here and then we'll bring it up and we can change the orientation so it backs onto the other one. Let's just delete it and buy it again. Okay, and then we'll feed in a regular vanilla dirt path. Yes, please. Very nice. And this is also a nice opportunity to. Transition into some more green belt stuff here. Um, let's bring the district up and then across here, not onto these actually, because it's going to change those types of housing, keep it off the road. Okay, and then onto this one as well. Egg, you got to start cross streaming to Twitch. I'm, I'm not a huge lover of Twitch as a platform to be fair Liz, um, that's why I don't stream on Twitch. I did used to, like way back in the day when I first started, but I just prefer YouTube as a streaming platform. Yeah, if you guys are wondering why I don't stream on Twitch, that's why. Just chucking a school. We'll draw in a supplementary road so we can change the orientation. Maybe some commercial as we come into this area as well. Let's take away all of this stuff. And let's grab that vanilla dirt path. Bring it down here. Please. I think Fremwood is good. It's a series that introduced me to OE. You guys talking about Fremwood? Please stop. <laughs> hey, Fremwood. Fremwood is the worst. It's terrible. There's a reason that we didn't put it into the X content um, section on the Discord. <laughs> See you later, Steve. Thanks for stopping by on the stream, mate. And then, big up the Reds. Yes, please. Massive win being out here today. Start detailing our little green belt here today. Um, let's bring it up here as well. Lots of walking connections for everyone involved. And 
Okay. You see, now the funny thing is, are we going to be using too many pathways here? I feel like I've already drawn in like seven of these and three of those and two of the other. I guess this could be the city's theme though, right? Fremwood is fine, Egan, I'm still following you. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I will accept no compliments on Fremwood, DJ. It's terrible. Terrific. <laughs> and on, like, on the, the last episode as well, um, I when I did like the final cinematics, I at that point I didn't know how to use the cinematic camera mod, and there's a section where you can see like the mod pop up. It's just so amateurish. It's just it's, it's horrific. <laughs> it's, it's not good. But I'm glad you enjoyed it, DJ. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, continue satisfying some more of this high density residential here. You can make a really nice repeated design out of this if you wanted to. I think we will historical some of these. Revisit Fremont with the Disasters DLC. Yeah. Yeah, we could. <laughs> we could. We could do that. I'm not in any kind of rush to see that city again, though. It's terrible. Glad you guys enjoy it, though. I certainly did not think that that content would lead me to collaborating with Imperator, but it did. <laughs> so there we go. It was worth it in the end, right? Start doing some little boxed in gardens with our nature reserve fence now. And I guess we'll mooch through with some residential zoning in these spaces. Straight the way through. Mm, I'm not a huge lover of how this is turning out with the dodgy terrain, but I think we can ignore it. Okay. New series, OE Revisits Fremwood. Go back through, update things you don't like with the knowledge and skills you have now. Hmm, we could get a nice clickbait title in that as well. Maybe like, you won't believe this was my first city or something like that. Compare it to Palavan. Yeah, I think we could maybe go back and revisit Fremwood though. Have a look at Fremwood today, like I did the Desert City. Um, I don't think I have the save file anymore. I think it's on the Steam Workshop. I'd have to re-download it. I don't think, anyway. I'll have to have a look. I don't think I have Fremwood anymore. I'll check anyway. Hold on. Um, no. No, I don't. I need to go through and sort all these out. Yeah, we have Bigusia. Yeah, yeah Fr um, Fremwood's on the Steam Workshop. I don't even have it anymore. Can we get a big yellow arrow in the thumbnail? Oh, absolutely. Of course. We'll point it at something that has nothing to do with the video as well. This is getting very heavily repeated trees. I'm not sure how I feel. I can't believe it's not Palavan. <laughs> yeah, that's a great title <laughs> to see. I can't believe it's not Palavan. <laughs> I'm expecting, I can't believe it's not button meme to pop up in the Discord after that. Casino, you know, if you wouldn't mind picking that up, much appreciated. Okay, let's carry on with more of these green belt designs and then we'll move back over to the university campus and see how that's getting on. Okay. lots to do here. Maybe let's try integrating. I was already searching before you said something. <laughs> Good. Great minds, right, Casino? Let's maybe start introducing some smaller commercial vibes into all this high density. See how that looks. Maybe some more service assets as well. Um, maybe... 
Sonra The Sports Hall Gymnasium How does this look here? Mm, it's not bad It's not bad <laughs> 10 things I'd change about Fremwood, you won't believe number 9, yeah <laughs> Love the vids, mate. Awesome content got me into the game. And I'm glad to hear that, Shadley. Hope you're enjoying it, mate. It's a fun game, isn't it? Okay, let's say I'm historical, a lot of these guys. Don't really want them growing too big. Okay. You could certainly make this a lot more... Or a lot less chaotic, I suppose, if you went for repeated patterns with your zoning and went quite specific with the assets, but... I think a little bit of chaos is appreciated every now and again, right? We've had an historical most of them. Not even Biffa can fix this city. Friend would revisit it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Overcharged Egg, and this is City Rescue. I go back to make friends with Fremwood and wonder why I did things I did before. It, it, Fremwood, it just makes me cringe. Like, the, the start of it is Imperial Jedi's layout, which I, I credited him for. Um, I'm pretty sure at the start of Fremwood as well, I even told people to stop watching my channel and go and check out Imperial Jedi instead. Which is not the way to grow an audience. <laughs> it's like, welcome to the channel, everyone. You should stop watching me, actually, and go and watch somebody else. But um, it seemed to work anyway. It seemed to work. Okay, I'm happy with this little thing now. Well, I'm not. It's not finished, but we've satisfied some demand. Let's carry on with the university for a little bit, shall we? See how we go in. Ash D. <laughs> sake. Ash D with a £3 super sticker, and it's a cheeky, pushy fox face. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ashley. I appreciate the support, lovely. <laughs> it's never going to not be funny, is it? It just, it just never won't be. <laughs> it's up mate is it okay hold on let me let me check it where is it <laughs> yes casino uh, let me show this on the stream <laughs> there we go that's perfect mate that's perfect can't believe it's not palavan <laughs> very good i'm missing super chats um, <laughs> might not, might not be with a five year old super chat. If you are hungover, you have to start the next day with your last drink. Cheers, egg, and treat yourself with a good glass of wine. Never, mate, I'm not going near wine. Like, I don't ever drink, I have no tolerance. It's awful. <laughs> Appreciate that super chat, though, mate. And um, Jay Rayner with a 35 Z ZAR currency. I've never seen that currency before. With a 35 ZAR super chat and no message. Thank you so much, Rayner, and mine heart for your super chats, guys. Appreciate the support. You guys are very generous. Thank you. Please do house. You might have to be a bit more specific, mate. Let's come through some boxed in fence designs again as well. And then maybe some little part decals. Almost like a little outdoor eatery area for the students. Maybe just some tiles here. Why am I doing this? I have plop, I have prop line tool. Okay. I'm just kind of drawing a little base frame of them and then we'll tidy up the rougher edges, I think. Okay. Let's take away that one, and that one, and that one. Fantastic. Rich, the Titan. I don't know why I'm saying Rich. It's Titan Atlas, isn't it? Well, Rich, anyway. We know who you are. <laughs> With a £10 super chat. Or if you're Scottish. What? <laughs> okay, can I believe it's not Palavin? Are you kin wit? I mean, Pala, can I believe? <laughs> right, Rich. What the hell? I can't read that, mate. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Appreciate your support. I think if that was English, if that was offensive, <laughs> then I have no idea. Thanks for getting me to read that, mate. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat, buddy. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, Egg. <laughs> Did I do a good job? 
Did a good, do a good job of that. Spice Cat with a 350 US dollar super chat. Which one is better egg content, Fremwood or FIFA? FIFA. FIFA's better than Fremwood. But yeah. <laughs> I think so anyway. No, oh, that's way too big. Thanks for the super chat, Spice Cat. Appreciate it, buddy. And I'm unlucky with City losing yesterday. Don't like this orientation. So maybe we get two of these things in here. Maybe like a little, a little side by side food action, and maybe some more. We look too close here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, maybe let's run through some other part life assets as well. Got 159 people here. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you're all okay. Let's um, pop on a bit of nighttime spice and check out the new area while I go to the bathroom for a hot minute. Let's find you guys a nice view. There you go. I think that's all right, isn't it? Maybe not there, actually. There you go. Yeah, I think that's quite cute. Hey, guys. I'll be like two minutes. Give me a second. And hello people, welcome. Nice city, thank you Josip. Nighttime's pretty. Mm. It's not quite up there with Palavan though, is it? <laughs> it's not quite up there with Palavan. But yeah, I appreciate the kind words though. Don't think I didn't. Yeah, okay. This area's turning out alright, I think, isn't it? I think it's okay. Um, Let's have a little look at this university campus again. What are we missing? Probably campus attractiveness, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, I don't think I want this here anymore. Um, let's grab ourselves a pathway from trade school. And we'll maybe bring this up as some path against road action. And let's relocate the groundskeeping building over here. Okay, we'll also start to provide a fence for the university as well. Park fence, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe park fence, we'll see. Okay. Nicole with another 149 Canadian dollar super sticker with some popcorn. Thank you so much, Nicole. I'm glad you're. Deeming the stream popcorn worthy. Thank you for the super sticker, mate. Appreciate the support. Oh, is it pop? Can't. <laughs> oh, is that right? Is that it? Is it pronounced with the um the Florida Panhandle accent? Okay, <laughs> that makes more sense then. That makes more sense. Kendai plays with a ten US dollar super sticker. Very exaggerated. Valley girl style. <laughs> Do I have to? Why is everyone making me speak? <laughs> I won't go there. Leave me alone. <laughs> like, oh my god, shut up. If it's not Palamon, what even is this? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> oh, it's awful. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> I should never have done the accent in the Discord. <laughs> I should never have done the accent in the Discord. Thank you for the super jack, can I? Appreciate the support. I think. <laughs> I think I do. 
Perfection? Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I hate that basic accent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, you're all enjoying it. <laughs> it makes me feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, let's have a quick drink here, shall we? <laughs> mm. It's just like a like a West Coast American basic accent. It's really easy to do. <laughs> you always have to speak as if you're in like constant pain. That's that. That's the trick to mastering it, I think. Okay, let's um come through and introduce some chess club spice into the university. Did you flop your hair around like doing that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did, bro. Okay, yeah, the dirt path kind of looks like crap there, actually. Let's switch that out for some park stuff. Maybe I'll do some zoo. Maybe some zoo. Um, let's come through with here as well. How do you get so much money with only 7,500 people? Because um, I play the game like ridiculously slowly and the money just piles up. Okay, let's bring this through here as well. That was Spice Cat with a 350 US dollar super chat. Um, <laughs> can I get a her, yeah? Yes, you can, Spice Cat. <laughs> you can get a her, yeah. <laughs> right? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not doing the accent all the time. <laughs> Don't ban me, please. It's dangerously close, Spice Cat. Dangerously close, mate. <laughs> get it, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't deny him, can we? He's paid me money. There you go. Did it wrong? I just did it right, Nicole. Chill out. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stop forcing me to channel my inner basic. <laughs> like, there's something I've been meaning to suggest, but haven't made it in a live stream yet for the Hill Mansion uh, Mansion neighborhood. Have you considered using the high tech housing policy? Um, no, I haven't, Sam. We've also had suggestions to introduce some of the Green Cities um, residential into that area as well. I'm assuming you're talking about the one in Palavan. Hmm? No, you did it wrong, mate. You have no idea yet? Okay, is this... I must be up to speed on this inside joke. Agathena heard your voice and started barking. It's not a good response, is it, Liz? That is not a good response. Okay, let's continue with some... Nature Reserve and Bush Fence Spice to surround the chess club. I think we're going to be having a nice time there. Have we hit our campus attractiveness yet? Probably a little bit short still. I oh, know we're okay. Um, let's commission an academic work actually, just so we make sure we get one this year. And then we can see how that's going to flow up. And let's continue to design our waterfront here. I do enjoy a good waterfront, everyone. It's always nice to work on one. Let's dump a load of soil into this mountain here. We can show you in stream after. I'm not sure I want to see. <laughs> to be totally honest. I'm not sure I want to see. Okay. Let's continue to terraform out here. Join us in the stream one after this and we'll help you out. Okay. You'll have to give me like 20 minutes for post stream wrap up, but I'll jump in and see what the hell it is you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's snap on to this guideline here. Drawing another bit of long straight section so we can snap our key on. Very nice. Oh, so smooth. Okay, a lot of this inches is abandoned, which is actually quite good because I don't particularly care for it. We'll eventually replace this with the higher end forestry stuff, um, like the port mills and whatnot, so it can all just go away for right now. See you later, Tater. 
kind of stuff and ban the stream, mate. Okay, let's continue to feed our materials though. <laughs> you can see, you know, so smooth. Speaking of smooth, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped. <laughs> Be as smooth as an egg with the new Weed Backer 5000. I'm not sponsored by Manscaped, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Not yet, anyway. Give it time, guys. Give it time. Okay, so I think we'll bring this little road alongside the key as well. Let's fracture our little tram turnaround point again. Let's here terraform is not getting too crazy right now we're okay we are okay and then again we'll keep it parallel with the key some smoother angles here bring some connections into that arterial too going to be kind of a weird shaped compass it's going to kind of flow around the bend with this hill we we'll have to find somewhere to dump all this soil as well if we're going to do some terraform it a cute little overcharged egg shaving bag merch yeah if i can get on board with a shaving bag i think people would enjoy that i think what we're going to do here is maybe come through And just separate the tram lines onto the road as the tram line ends here. And maybe we can pick up another method of public transport at this point. Maybe it's time to introduce some metro. Some little waterside metro action going on, maybe. I think this would be quite nice up against the water. Integrate it into the campus as well. How do I join the Discord? Yeah, um, Modash has just pushed it in the stream chat for you, Brad. See you over there if you're looking to join. Okay, and I think where we've got all this fractured zoning, I'm actually going to bring the Green Cities District down a little further. Maybe up to here as well. Um, the Green Cities commercial zoning is one of the few zonings that actually works really nicely with fractured stuff. Like all kind of the weird shapes, it just sort of blends together quite nicely. Okay, let's bring our water pipes down here as well, and that power will sink through. How are we doing for power? Yeah, we're alright. We need, very nearly need water anyway. Very nearly need water. Join the Discord, it's very fun. I'm surprised to hear you say that, Spice Cat of all people. I'm glad you think so. Let's have a look at how our trams are performing um, with the stop here. So yeah, come and stop on this side, and then again here. Fantastic. Those stops are close together, but we'll have something here, right? Nice change up in the road texture as well, I think. Okay, and then maybe we'll just leave this space open with some smaller, tufty bits of overgrowth. Nothing too serious, right? And then we'll go with... I'm just basically small overgrown area where maybe some tree saplings are just threatening to push through. Okay, very small micro green belt. Hmm. Was that sarcastic? Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to tell with Spice Cat, isn't it? Can't tell his little sassy lawyer attitude that he brings to the, the community. And his support of gross football teams. Okay. Let's maybe come through with just uh we've got some zone in here. Yeah, I thought that would eventually come out. Some small stuff around here, right? Um smaller bits and pieces. 
Oh, flash out. Some of that area. Okay. Very happy with this palette though. Tram line running behind Green City zoning with some integrated green belt, which backs onto some nightlife areas. And then we'll start to see some more important. It'd be really cool actually to run like a metro ring around the edge of this lake as we kind of build each side of the lake shore up, right? That would be quite nice. How are we doing for traffic? Just make sure that these new areas aren't crippling anywhere. Everyone's flowing nicely, I think, aren't we? What percentage are we on? Yeah, let's have a little look. 91. We're all right. Any kind of choke points beginning to develop? Entrance to the farm's a little bit busy, but it's not backing up. Roundabout's a little busy too. I think we're okay. Hi from Australia. Hello from England, Helder. Hope you're well. I'm not too bad. A little hungover today, but surviving. Hope you're well as well. Hope you are well. Hope everyone's well. 149 people here. Thanks for the support today, everyone. Okay, so we can't really expand the campus now. Um, for a little while. Want to get those students in. Let's go ahead and start drawing out that metro line. We'll see what we can do with this. So I think we'll keep it elevated for the majority of its journey. And there's some nice little kind of river creek spice coming down here. Mod Ash isn't well, yeah. <laughs> A lot of the people in the Discord are not well after last night. It's, um... Oh, this is awful. What's happening? There we go. Oh, that's a sensible incline, isn't it? That residential demand. Let's build this metro line. Yeah, well, it's called take any time, Spice Cat. That's why my cities look better than yours, mate. <laughs> that's why my cities look better than yours, because I'm taking time to detail and plan everything out intricately. Okay, let's bring the metro line over. Bang, phone down, Zappa Casino. Okay, maybe we will. Um, <laughs> phone down, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's bring... The material down a touch more. And we maybe will start begin to introduce a little bit of high density here. What's the noise pollution like from this metro station? Not too bad. We can maybe bring it in... That's probably our limit. Maybe one more. That one might suffer, but we'll see. And then we'll run commercial for the rest of it. Okay, and then we'll go here as well. Okay, fantastic. More commercial here too. And then we'll bring some pathways through to help link people back into it. As always. Yeah, getting some worker demand now. Start to bring in some of these high density guys. And again, we want to be careful with what assets are coming in. I kind of like that. Yeah, like that immediate tower block. That's not um. That's not what we're after. We are playing with plot the growables on this city, but we'll wait for stuff to come in naturally. The the art deco buildings would look really nice here. And uh, we'll place some police stations and some park stuff down here as well to get everyone leveling up. Keep the high density all level 1 historical. Okay, let's grab some park assets, maybe basketball court. Can we squeeze this in here? Not quite. Come up with something else, maybe a dog park somewhere. How about Fishing Island? Over here. What does this look like? That's quite cute. That's a really nice asset. Never use it. I 
okay. It'd be a bit empty right now. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the actual island. Um, maybe a nature reserve. Let's have a little test of that. Um, let's bring the road out a little further, and then maybe if we switch to dirt, have like a little little road tunnel crossing over. Little dirt road. Unless we put the entrance to the nature reserve on this side of the river and have some like camping stuff on here. Okay. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. I have been live for yeah, it's an hour and sixteen. It's about as much as I can kind of stomach, guys. <laughs> Are we having to leave the stream there? Um, let's find a nice little place to say goodbye, shall we? Uh, let's go for today's build. Today's little waterfront build. Really like this, actually. This is uh, certainly a thumbnail, I think, isn't it? Something like that. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave the stream there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video today, or the stream rather, a like below is always appreciated. Thanks so much if you haven't enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave this like as well. If you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Um, but yeah, some cute little work done on the tutorial city today. Apologies it's not been as live as usual, but like I said, I am hanging. <laughs> and I'm about ready to get away from this PC. Um, Palavin possibly will be delayed next week for what I'm sure are pretty obvious reasons, but I'll obviously let you guys know on Discord, Twitter, and the community page um, when it's due out. But yeah, it won't be as long as last week's, I don't think. It definitely won't be Friday. Oh, and Kendai plays with a 10 US dollar super sticker before we go. It's the Fox saying thank you so much, so much Kendai. Really appreciate the support. You guys have been super generous with those super chats again tonight. Like, really generous. Thank you so much for the support. And um, you are absolutely pushing towards full time egg, I can assure you. Uh, thanks for the mods, Ash, Nicole, DM, Lands, and Jane have been here. Mags has been in and out as well. I think he left earlier. Uh, yeah, and everyone else, Casino, Be Misty, Minehart, Aretha, Josh. Uh, Rich has been here as well. Liz, Michael, Sean. Yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate all the support on the Sunday stream as usual. And then, um, yeah, I will speak to you all soon. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And here again, <laughs> sorry Max, <laughs> I thought I heard someone say bye to you, I thought you left, but hello Max again. <laughs> well thank you all so much for watching, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.